So you guys know that uh, a lot of social media companies are now allowing uh, uh, users to call for Russians to be killed, right? So uh, this includes Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We went through this uh, uh, yesterday, the videos on the channel, if you want to watch the full thing. So you see Reuters published it. Facebook and Instagram to temporarily allow calls for violence against Russians. Yeah, that's not a parody. But in response to that, look what happened. Russia banned Facebook. This is the uh, Russian embassy in the U.S. They said, we demand that American authorities, that U.S. authorities stop the extremist activities of Meta, which is, is Facebook, and take measures to bring the perpetrators to justice. Users of Facebook and Instagram did not give the owners of these platforms the right to determine the criteria of truth and pit nations against each other. And so they've banned Instagram as well as a result because, as I just mentioned, you can go on there and, and apparently say not just Putin should be killed, but, you know, Russians uh, in general. And so they say it's obviously just limited to soldiers, but uh, not every platform is making that distinction. And I really doubt that they're going to enforce that if they're literally allowing you to, to, to call for hate speech and violence. Instagram is allowing users to say death to Russians. Let's kill Russians. Russia bans Instagram. And now Instagram is upset. Here's Adam Mossery, the head of Instagram. He says, on Monday, Instagram will be blocked in Russia. This decision will cut 80 million in Russia off from one another and from the rest of the world as 80% of people in Russia follow an Instagram account outside their country. This is wrong. No, you know what's wrong is allowing people to say death to Russians, allowing hate speech against Russians or anyone else for that matter. That's wrong. That's what's wrong. What the fuck did you expect? Did you expect caviar and, and vodka or something? What Are you a moron? Are you an idiot? You must be, because if you've allowed this hate speech stuff, I mean, you must be an idiot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is, th this is so typical. You know what this reminds me of? It's like when uh, uh, the BBC, they, they blocked CGTN, and then in, in response, sorry, the UK, Ofcom, the, the regulator, blocked CGTN. And, and then in response, China blocked the BBC. And then they're like, you're attacking the freedom of the press. Why are the Chinese attacking us? No, no, no. You, you banned a Chinese channel. And then China banned the BBC in response. It's tit for tat. You, <laughs> you attacked the press first. You violated the principle of freedom of press. Not the Chinese. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't fit the narrative. The UK can do no harm. The US can do no harm. They're angels. They always mean well. They never do anything bad. They are always, always sincere and innocent. And Russia's always bad. It's always, you know, it always is in ill intent. It's always malfeasant. Russia, 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 bad. <laughs> God, this is unbelievable. What a twat. What an idiot. Like, what, I, I'm speechless. Like, what did you expect? And obviously, the same is happening with... Uh, you know, with other platforms, as I said, they're, they're allowing this uh, on Twitter. And they're allowing this on Facebook. It's not just about the hate speech. It's just that they've, they've blocked RT. They're, you know, banning everything Russian left and right. And so uh, Russia, a few days ago, blocked access to Facebook and Twitter. Doesn't matter, though, because those services were already blocking access in Russia. So it's not like Russians could use them anyway. Uh, you know, these social media companies. Fa as it says here, Facebook and Instagram removed Russia Today and Sputnik uh, from their, their platforms. We knew that. Now they've done it worldwide on YouTube, at least. And actually, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, other platforms, uh, platforms followed suit. I really wouldn't be surprised. President of Global Affairs at Facebook's parent Meta said, blocking the platform would cut off millions of ordinary Russians from reliable information. Uh, the platform, meaning Facebook and, and, and uh, Instagram, right? From reliable information, deprive them of communications, with friends and family and uh, and mean they were silenced from speaking out. You, you are blocking RT and then you're worried about people being silenced and not able to speak out. God, it's, it's, it's really tiring. It's, it's so tiring. So, 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 so much bullshit. It's like this thing with Russia's criminalizing fake reports, right, about the, the military. Yeah, well, so did you. You're, you're, you're saying that, you know, uh, uh, in the UK, for example, Priti Patel, like journalists who publish government secrets, 14 years in prison, uh, people who protest and damage something, 10 years in prison, uh, any, anything that's fake news, we're going to ban it just because we don't like it. You're doing the exact same things that you say the Russians are doing, and actually you're doing 
even worse. You're doing even more. You instigated it. You, the UK, the US, and so on. The West. Unbelievable. You know, they, they, they say that we have to fight disinformation. We have to get rid of these poisonous sources that are, you know, permeating our, our media and they're, they're taking advantage of it and it's Russian disinformation. And then when they get a taste of their own medicine, they don't like it. But this one is really by far the worst. The, the thing with um, Instagram being banned in Russia over calls to violence. Yeah. What did you expect? You dunce. You absolute dunce. Could you imagine if, if uh, Russia had done that, let's say, uh, uh, like, it was the other way around, where some Russian company, whatever it is, Yandex, or let's say VK, it doesn't matter, like, they said that, yeah, it's okay for people to, to call for violence against Americans, or let's say TikTok, right, isn't TikTok Chinese-owned? Like, they, they say, yeah, it's okay for people on TikTok to say they want to murder Americans and, and U.S. soldiers. They would just straight up remove it from the Play Store, they would ban it immediately with an executive order, it's gone. You fucking know that. And they would say this is an affront on democracy and this is an insult to Americans and this is absolutely unacceptable and China is being authoritarian and we do not tolerate this kind of talk. They would give you the biggest fucking lecture that you've ever heard about how America is the greatest and they're the worst and they complete double standard, right? It, it, they would never bring it back. It would be like permanently banned. And the irony here is that you know that if you go on Instagram now or Facebook or, or YouTube or whatever it is, and you say, for example, you're a Palestinian and you say, uh, you say something against the Israeli colonizers and invaders who are bulldozing your home or, you know, killing you or your family, bombing you, who are, who are committing violence against you. If you say something as a Palestinian, you'll be banned. And not just banned, the Israelis will come to your house and they will arrest you and put you in prison under administrative detention or something else. You know, there are people in Palestine, they get arrested over Facebook posts. You know I'm not joking, you know this is true. And it's, it's many people. It's a it's complete police state. And I wouldn't even say state. It's a colony. So you would be put on a list, branded a terrorist, and for the exact same thing that they're saying is okay in Ukraine, right? If Palestinians or Iraqis or anyone who's, who's under occupation did the exact same things that the West is encouraging Ukrainians to do, they would go to jail, they'd be banned, they'd be shut down, censored. 